Welcome to Topic A, everyone. I'm your host, Gary Perna. This week on Topic A, I'm joined by Hazleton Mayor Joe Yanuzzi. We're going to talk about Mayor Yanuzzi's five years in office, what he's thought over these past five years as mayor, what he's looking forward to for the last couple of months he's here as mayor, and we're going to talk about what he wants his legacy to be for the city of Hazleton. That and much more coming up on Topic A, only on WYLN. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? S.J. Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call S.J. Kowalski at 570-455-2600. The Beer Garage, 202 East Diamond Avenue in Hazleton. More than just beer, coffee, all sizes, only $1. Get your lottery tickets here, too. Stop in today, The Beer Garage in Hazleton. Topic A, everyone. I'm joined by Hazel to Mayor Joe Yanuzzi. And Mayor, I've had you on the show a couple times. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me. Um, I reached out to you a couple weeks ago and I said, hey, Mayor, I, I want you to come on the show and let's talk about some of the things that you've accomplished. Um, you know, five years as mayor, uh, some time you uh, spent on council and, and uh, you know, what your hopes are for the city moving forward. And um, this show taped right after election, so we know Jeff Cassatt will come in and, and be your replacement in January. Um, but, you know, I want to look back, first of all, over, over the five years you've spent as mayor. Uh, you came in to fill the term uh, left by now Congressman Lou Barletta. Uh, you ran a successful first term and won your own four years. So, you know, let's take a look back and, you know, what are some of the things you're most proud of over the, the, the last five years uh, with well, the city? Well, the unforeseen things is probably the most proud of. And one of them was, like, uh, when I went in, the first thing I said was, it's all about the money. You can't do anything without money. You can't have police. You can't fight crime. You can't fix streets. You can't do anything. So let's go in and let, take a look at the finances. And we went in and took a look at the finances. And, and naturally, over the years, being locked in, capped at 25 mils, uh, <clears throat> we could not raise taxes. We could not get enough money to operate it. We tried everything. And it was really a disaster in City Hall. So when they lifted the reassess and lifted a cap, that was an opportunity to change things, and we did. But we had to go in and redo all the financing, uh, all the, the uh, audits had to be done for 12 years. Our financial uh, department, which is the administration, uh, Tom Brabula, he went in, he got all of them straightened out, and in 19, uh, 2014, he brought in the audit on time, which has been a first for the city. We took and we started to restructure all the, the uh, uh, operational expenses that we had, and, and we got it in, mm -hmm. in a good place. And now, in 2014, we've had a profit. 
we've had uh, a surplus. We went and every year they borrowed a TAN, you know, which is a uh, tax anticipation note, mm -hmm. which gives you money to operate in January and February and then you pay it back. Well, they never paid it back for years and we had to borrow the money and pay that off. We have never borrowed money in the five years I've been in City Hall, so that was a plus. Mm -hmm. The sad part is in this year, 2015, well, uh, we're going to have to borrow money coming to start 2016 because the money isn't there because they use our surplus. But that's the part I'm most proud of. Now, we got our finances uh, in the black. Uh, every, all, everything's from policies. We had to redo all of them. We did all of that. But I'm very proud to say that I had a great group of uh, directors, mm -hmm. and they, we, I call them my staff, but they each one directed a department. And uh, they did a fine job in restructuring. Uh, we put a new chain of command in every department. Uh, we've turned departments around. We, we've uh, taken the airport and made yeah. money there. So that's money, money, money. It's all about the money. Uh, we've done a lot of upgrades in uh, our equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, the, when I went in, you know, not having the money right. that the previous mayors did not have, our equipment was really in bad shape. And we went in, we did uh, eight or nine new vehicles in the police department. We bought plow trucks in the uh, highway department. Uh, buses, we, we bought about three or four new buses. So we just kept upgrading every piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. Getting back to the highway department, we've done, we got a, uh, an asphalt uh, recycler we, we bought. We have, uh, it's an oil spreader for sealing. Uh, we've done all the uh, lawn equipment because we have like eight uh, playgrounds mm -hmm. that we cut. So we got all new equipment, so we just keep doing that. And now, I think it's in a great position now to, to uh, the next mayor to move uh, the city forward. So I, I know, you know, talking with you over the past couple of, you know, the last two years really, um, I've probably been in your office more times interviewing you <laughs> and talking than I did any other I mayor. I thought you worked for the yeah. <laughs> Some people thought that at times. <coughs> um, you, you know, but the one thing you've always said you're proud of, you know, you were able to get the city mm -hmm. on track and to do those little things that people would notice. Yeah, you, when you have to go out and buy a plow truck or you yeah. have to, you know, buy a police car. You know, we saw those six brand new SUVs that came through for the police department. Um, that at the time, you know, were, were the greatest thing out there uh, for them. You know, we saw a new ladder truck come in with the fire department and, you know, especially um, the CD uh, funding uh, yes. with Fallon uh, there, you know, a lot of um, some homes were taken down. You were able to, to remodel some homes, pave some streets. So, you know, a lot of that financing, getting the house back in order, led to moving the city forward right. uh, by a little bit. Yes, and when I first uh, went on council in 2000, uh, 2003, the uh, CD was like a million two. Mm -hmm. When I now I'm leaving, it's un, it's six hundred thousand. I mean, every year it dropped. Yeah. And every year we had to make up because that's the money you're supposed to use for uh, uh, other things right. than, than your operation of it. And we've done that and done it well. And uh, Fallon's uh, firm did a great job in maneuvering it and. Uh, getting a, an even budget so we spend that money equally. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud of that. I'm also proud of the downtown. I mean, downtown, I've said that in my uh, statements too. I thought the heart of the city is downtown. I think when, this, when the city uh, downtown develops and improves, jobs are created, activities created, and it sort of ripples through the city. Now, I was concentrating on downtown, but they were saying, well, I should be concentrating on the other ones. Well, I was trying to get the first one done. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't do it all at once. Let's get Broad Street finished. Let's get all this, the activity happening downtown. <clears throat> and, you know, you don't see these things, but since the downtown has developed, our mercantile taxes went in, up. We receive right. more mercantile tax now because of the businesses that have opened, but people don't see that. Right. But if you look at our budgets, uh, 
and look at our uh, financial statements, you'll see that our income improved on the mercantile. Now that's because of downtown businesses. So uh, we were trying to move and, and get that ripple and work our way out to Alter Street and uh, the Heights. But downtown is really beautiful. Downtown's a great uh, introduction to Hazleton. When you drive downtown, right. it looks like a great city, which it really is. And, and I know, and now that the Broad Street Quarter project has finished, a lot of the businesses now are, are revamping the front, uh, their yes. facades. You, you now have the, the park coming in. Um, oh, yeah. I saw the Christmas tree has, has been yeah. planted down there just yeah, in time. Nice. You know, so tying all this together really did make a nice appearance for Hazleton. Yes, it did. Uh, Broad Street's Broad Street's a real gem. Uh, we're not done with it. We have a lot to do with it. We've we've upgraded the parking garage now, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we've done a lot of streets down around uh, downtown. We're trying to do some on Wyoming, Wyoming Street, and it's it's really developing good, and people are starting to take notice of the improvements of it. People from out of our town love it. Yeah. People from in the town, the certain little 10% that always moans, we're spending too much money, too much time on Broad Street. We have to. We have to. That's right. our heart. Once we get that pumping again, we'll, all, we'll be in good shape. All right. Well, Mayor, I'm going to take a break right there. We'll be right back. Uh, I'll have more with Hazleton Mayor Joe Yanuzzi. Stay with us. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Family owned and operated, the experienced professionals at Lehigh Tire have served the residents of the greater Hazleton area for over 55 years. From our full line of passenger, light truck and commercial tires, to our automotive services including tune-ups, inspections, oil changes and alignments. Every time I've ever done business here, they've, they've been very polite, straightforward and the job gets done quickly and right. Find the right tire for the right price today at Lehigh Tire. WYLN is proud to announce a huge technical upgrade to our channels that will bring a better digital picture and expanded coverage area to viewers all over northeastern and central Pennsylvania. In addition to channel 35.1 in Hazleton, you can watch a crystal clear picture in Berwick and Columbia County on channel 47.1 and in East Stroudsburg on channel 24.1. And we're proud to announce Pennsylvania's newest TV station, channel 9.1 in Williamsport, serving Lycoming, Montour, Northumberland and Union Counties. Now more than ever, WYLN is your local network. Tri-County Business Machines has been serving the Hazleton area with office supplies and furniture for over 35 years. We are your local Kyocera dealer for all your digital Kyocera copiers, printers, and faxes. For exceptional reliability, sales, and service, the call to make is to Tri-County Business Machines. Tri-County Business Machines, keeping your office up to speed. Tri-County Business Machines, located at 117 East Broad Street, Hazleton. Phone 459-0754 or visit us on the web at tricountybm.com. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. The topic is sleep, how to get a good night of it, and if you don't, what it can do to your body. Dr. John and Dr. Stacy have some great tips, both in habits and some supplements that you could try that'll help you get a good night's rest. That's coming up this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us.
Yeah, welcome back, everyone. And we're talking about Mayor Joe Yanuzzi. And uh, Mayor, you know, we talked a little bit about the, the downtown. We talked a little bit, uh, you know, about the budget and financing of the city. But uh, something you're most proud of um, is the police department Absolutely. and the work that um, you have done with getting that in order, of course, and hiring uh, Police Chief Frank DeAndrea. So I know a lot of pride you've had with with that police department. Let me just let me just say that you know you are as good as the people to surround you when you're in in a position, position I am in, I can't run every department, so I have to mm -hmm. certain people, so. But I have to get back to, every one of my department has did a wonderful job. They did things that I asked them to do, and they'd get it done. But not only did they get it done, they, they would have opposition to them, and they would tell me at our staff meetings, and, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want people just to be yes people, they weren't. But Frank DeAndrea is, it was a big switch in, the history of the police department. In the police department, the chief was always from within. Mm -hmm. And that's a good idea for promotions. But there's, we restructured the whole police department that you can move up in rank, and we changed it to you pass the test, mm -hmm. you get the highest score, you are promoted. Not because of who you are, who your uncle is, or whatever it is. Right. You get promoted by that. And Frank did that when he came in. But I took Frank because he was an outside officer in the state police. Right. He wasn't in the police union. Normally, you take the man out of the police union, you put him as chief. He's in chief for four years. He runs the department, but he still has his loyalty to the union right. because whatever he does and decides in that, he loses his job because a new mayor comes in he goes back into the union, so right. he's not going to ruin that house that he has to go back and live in. So that, to me, was one distraction. I'm not saying that police chiefs did that, but Frank came in, and Frank took an administrative job. He was the administrator of that department, and he went in and found lots out of place. We had one lieutenant, one or two sergeants, and that was it. So we restructured the whole police department. We Frank did, mm -hmm. all new uh, regulations. Uh, so he, then we started to look for ways of getting new equipment because we had old guns, we didn't have tasers, we got tasers, but then they, they became obsolete, so we didn't have tasers, right. you know? And we got all new uniforms. Uh, I, I told you about the eight vehicles we got, and we did all of that, and we restructured, and now we have four uh, three departments rather in the police department and they have lieutenants, they have sergeants, they have corporals and, uh, and patrolmen and everything is run uh, professionally right, right. and everybody does their part and everybody has a job now. Not that you're just a cop on patrol and do what right. you want to do. This was all structured. Frank did a great job. Our police department, is, I, I'm so proud of it and I'm so aggravated that we can't get more and more police so that the hard job that they, they're doing mm -hmm. is not wasted. They do more uh, call after call after call. They don't do uh, uh, preventative, uh, trying to get out there and do uh, stings. They can't do things like that because they get to call something happened here and they get to call something happened there. And that's the way they operate. And that's not the way a police department should operate. We should have patrolmen on the streets, walking the streets. We should have patrolmen of uh, traffic uh, division. We don't have a traffic division. If they have nothing to do, they do tickets, right. violations. Well, there's <laughs> no time that they have nothing to do. So right. tickets and violations are difficult. <clears throat> and that's an income producing until you get everybody straightened out that they don't do this. So anyway. Frank comes in and does an outstanding job. He has the department uh, humming right now. It's perfect. Uh, the, 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 most of the men like him. I don't know if there's anybody that doesn't, but they, they uh, do what he says. They, they respect him now, uh, and, and it turned out to be a good decision on my part that I brought Frank in. So. And, and I know that, you know, Police Department has done wonders, you know, with us and, and great working. Anytime mm -hmm. they need something, they, they reach mm -hmm. out to us. You know, a, another department of yours, um, the, you know, the fire department, 
um, which was a, a, a great thing. Um, mm -hmm. I guess now, a little over two years ago, they signed the agreement with uh, West Hazleton. Yes. Um, you know, I've been a volunteer firefighter since yes. I was 14. I can hear old war stories. Yeah. Hazleton City Fire Department would, would stop at the line and that was yes, it. Um, you know, Chief Leshko has kind of broken that barrier down. Um, at the time, it was Chief yeah. Gantz and West Hazleton. And that was something you guys were behind right. as well. I remember the fire department responding to an alarm, a, a major blaze, and they went down and found out it was Genetti's and stopped. At the city line. Yeah, that was disgusting. That aggravated me. Anyway, uh, it was something that was uh, there for years, and uh, this department and my administration, uh, we broke that barrier, and now we're working together hand in hand, and that's a great idea. They're our neighbor, you know? Right. I mean, who knows where West Hazleton ends and Hazleton begins, and uh, we're, we're very happy to do that. But when I took over, the fire department, to me, was well organized. Uh, they had a great leader there with uh, Donald Eshko, and, you know, and they had a lot of volunteers. Thank you for volunteering, because you don't get paid for that, and that's a dangerous job and a necessary job, so thank you. But. Uh, we have a problem getting volunteers. Uh, but the department that we have right now, we kept their equipment. Donald needed some, we tried to get him whatever he needed, if he, mm -hmm. especially in the, uh, in the firehouses, we, we, you know, whatever he needed, we got all the equipment. Get the best equipment, because when we want to fight a fire, we want to fight it the right way and get mm -hmm. it as fast as we can. And the only way you can do that is with equipment and volunteers. So he's been doing an outstanding job too. Uh, he's only has 18 people, so uh, it's difficult, right. but he covers the city well. Uh, another department I know we're very proud of, and a lot of work and time of effort's gone into it, is, is the code slash health department oh. now. Um, you, you know, that kind of went under the police department, but mm -hmm. recently just it came back out of its own yeah. department. and. Uh, you know, a, a new chain there and also a, a lot more of an effort push out to getting the codes enforced. Well, we had uh, the code department was operating all by itself. Everybody did their little thing, whatever it was, and it operated. So what I wanted to do was I had people walking all over City Hall looking to pay this. You go there to third floor, you pay that. You go down to the first floor, you pay this. You go to, I brought everything you pay in City Hall down to the first floor in one department and uh, the code was in there. So if you want a permit you know, or a license or whatever you want, zoning applications, you go down the first floor in that department. So I put all of them together and it seems to be working well. Uh, but uh, they, they ca uh, can operate unless they're organized so we brought in Mike Whiffling. Mm -hmm. He uh, is sort of the supervisor, was sort of the supervisor of it, but a lot of the code is going to the magistrate right. and actually being the prosecutor. If you have a violation here and you appeal it at your house and you appeal it, I come up and have to prosecute you because I'm the one who wrote the ticket out and I'm the one that has to follow through, just like the police do. So I said, Frank, get in charge, straighten these guys out make them be able to defend or prosecute uh, the person uh, that caused the violation. And he did, and he organized it, and he got it all straightened out, and it took quite a while. Right. And he was doing this at the same time he was doing the police department, which is an outstanding job for both departments. And we just finally got everything settled, we got it together. I brought in uh, Jim Ferry as a code enforcement officer, and I told him that maybe his position should be to watch over <coughs> the code right. and Mike take, co take care of. It's a big, big uh, job in the ordinances and, and looking for the problems in the ordinances and setting up the procedures and policies. And Mike is doing that and Jim Perry is uh, doing it. And it's working out well. Okay. We started to hire part-timers and we got a bunch of them on, so we have quite a few. Uh, and we're doing a good job, but okay. it's going to take a long time. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back here on Topic A. It always feels good to pull my own part. It saves a lot of money, too. I've never actually pulled it before, but I think it's time. 
It's environmentally conscious, and it can be a lot of fun. If you're a do-it-yourselfer who's up for an adventure, then come out to Harry's You Pull It. Pull your own quality recycled auto parts for up to 90% off the cost of buying new. Savings like that will keep more money in the bank, which could lead to even greater fun. Harry's You Pull It. We got used.com. Grand Central helps make your place the place. The place where comfort is king and style rules the day. The place where dinner time is family time and bedtime is beautiful. Right now on all furniture and bedding, the price on the floor is the price to your door. No tax, no delivery, no inflated prices, no kidding. Plus up to 36 months interest-free financing. Grand Central, helping make your place home. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. Join us this week on Women Today. Hazleton now has a level four trauma center. Its coordinator is gonna be here to tell you all about it. We've got a wonderful peach chardonnay from Simply Homebrew. Kathy's gonna make an amazingly impressive dish. We've got more winners and a very sweet, dog-loving young woman on the move. It's all coming up this week on Women Today. Join us. Welcome back, everyone. In our final two minutes here on the show, you know, Mayor, we talked about a bunch of your departments, the yeah. police, the fire, financing. I'll just give you an opportunity, give you a minute here to, to yeah. um, talk about some of the other people we missed so I far. I definitely would like that opportunity, and uh, I have to talk about Frankie Vito now. Frankie Vito has a staff of, of 13, but three of them are uh, supervisors and the rest are, and that's who takes care of 25,000 people and 125 miles of road, which mm -hmm. is very difficult. I have to give him a pat on the back for t getting the job done as best he can with the amount of people he has. I mean, Ralph Sharp he took over the transit, and he's done a wonderful job. That place is really humming. We have the, our best is the Humboldt tr route now. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. That's working out. And then we have uh, Bob Cohn, who we now made a, a legal department. He's our in-house attorney. He does, he's doing a great job. It's nice to have him right next door to me. Uh, you know, you need an attorney. Uh, the other one is uh, Dominic Inouye. I cannot say enough. He's my second cousin, and the world knows that. But the guy did an outstanding job for the city uh, everywhere and all the engineering that we needed done, and especially the airport. Mm -hmm. He turned that around. Finally, my assistant, uh, uh, Allison Keegan, I can't say enough about her. She's my uh, my memory. You know, she <laughs> tells me when to go, where to go, and how to go, and uh, practically everything. So uh, well, I have to thank them all, and that's what I said. I surrounded myself with good people, and you end up doing good things. Well, me in our in our last minute here, you know, I wanted to ask, um, you know, do you have moving forward any regrets looking back at your time as mayor? Yeah, one regret, and that was not going to the council meetings. You know, I've been to, I spent 11 years in the council mm -hmm. chambers. I mean, I'm not afraid to go in there. People just call me everything. The only problem is I was trying to separate the legislature from the administrator. <clears throat> the council does not run the city operation. Right. They do legislation. And to keep that separated, I, I stopped going to the meetings so they could run and do it himself. And it shows, can they manage by themselves? And absolutely not. This group can't. Okay. And that's my disappointment. I tried to show that and I got burnt. All right, Mayor. Well, Mayor, thank you so much. Thank you for five years of yeah. leading this city. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks for watching us on Topic A, everyone. We'll catch you next time.